A massive blast in the Lebanese capital of Beirut that sparked an enormous mushroom cloud has killed scores and injured thousands of people. The explosion transformed the city's port area into a wasteland, leveling buildings and cars. The U.S. Geological Survey says the blast created seismic waves similar to a magnitude 3.3 earthquake. Our Om Ji Young has our top story. A huge explosion at a port in central Beirut rocked Lebanon's capital on Tuesday evening local time, killing at least 70 people. According to Lebanon's health minister, more than 2,700 people were injured and the death toll is expected to rise. Followed by a huge mushroom cloud, the explosion emitted powerful shock waves across the city, destroying buildings and shattering windows in different parts of Beirut. The Lebanese prime minister described the explosion, which also damaged prime minister's headquarters, as a catastrophe. What happened today won't pass without a count. Those responsible will pay the price for what happened. This is a promise to the martyrs and to the wounded. This is a national commitment. Facts will be revealed about this dangerous warehouse that has been there since 2014. The exact cause of the blast is not yet clear, but Lebanon's interior security chief said ammonium nitrate, which is highly explosive, may have been stored in a warehouse at the port. Also, the country's news agency reported a major fire broke out at the port depot before the blast and firefighting crew had rushed to the scene to try and put it out. A White House official says President Trump has been briefed on the explosion and the White House and U.S. State Department are continuing to closely monitor the situation. The U.S. Embassy in Beirut urged people in the affected area to wear masks if available as there have been reports of toxic gas releases from the blast. The incident comes amid an economic crisis in the country and in advance to Friday's trial of the long-awaited verdict over the 2005 killing of the country's ex-prime minister. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.